I'm back. <laughs> Three years ago, I was lucky to draw this tag for a rifle, and I never thought I would have a chance to be back here again. And I am beyond excited to be back here, this time with archery tag. It's going to be a lot of struggle. <laughs> I just got here, hiked up to my my knob on the first day. You can see behind me back there. I'm looking up a couple different cuts. got nearly 360 view. The plan for today is just to sit, observe, see if I see any deer anywhere here, and if so, have an idea of where to be tomorrow. I have two full days after this and then in the morning. So it's a fast hunt. I'm excited. Got within 12 yards. Desert Camping 101.5. 
101. Always be prepared. I'm seeing drips. I'm not sure it's gonna be able to hold the water out. Freaking monsoon. Hail. Oh jeez. Pretty pretty big big size hells too. Feel them hitting the floor. That's how big they are. Second morning, I'm hiking into another canyon. This morning, I set up on one as the sun came up and did some glassing. Saw zero movement, so I'm hiking up over the ridge to the next little valley. It's way way off the beaten trail, so I'm hoping that that's where animals are gonna be hiding out. It's pretty awesome, though. It's where I came from. And you gotta finish climbing up over that.
great shot. There's still some down there. Trying to get them all out of here. But that was pretty cool. I don't even know how many there were. They're probably 12 or 15. I heard them back up here a while ago. I tried to make a stock on them, but I didn't have my GoPro, so I kind of abandoned it. Well, not really abandoned it. I lost them, to be honest, but made my way back up or up to my pack and continued on down. I think they were down here still. Was able to get the GoPro. Get over here, got some good film. Wait for a really nice shot, 32 yards, and drilled it. So, I think I'm about to walk down to a javelina nest. It should be interesting. So, if this video is found and I'm not, I'm down there, shredded by javelina. Well, here we go. Still more javelinas. See some taking off down that way. Good. That guy is up there somewhere. I'm down here. First thing to do is go find where I shot him without getting eaten by a javelina. This is where we're standing. No blood right there. He should be right down here. Still a bunch of avalanches in here. Oh, here's my arrow.
rod head definitely. Hit rock on the outside. Well, he should be laying down here. It was a pretty good hit. Arrow okay. doesn't have the blood on it that I was hoping, but he looked dead when he dumped down into here. So he ran here, came down here. Thought he just died here. Don't have a blood trail. Right, I'm just gonna follow this royal down. Walk this arroyo for probably a quarter mile almost. No blood, no dead javelina. Came back. Look at my arrow some more. A little bit blood. I think a little bit of meat hanging off there too. So, it doesn't smell like a gut. My guess is void. It looked good. Felt good, looked good, which is a problem on a number of levels. <sighs> that broadhead took a beating. jacked it up it's bent not even, I mean the edge is completely destroyed but it's bent over I don't know if you can see that really disappointing felt perfect I had all the time in the world my nerves were calmed, picked a spot. Look perfect. It's on the GoPro. I'll have to wait till I get back to the house a few days to fiddle with that and see. If I can zoom in and get a better idea where I hit. Had a lot to choose from. Waited for the perfect opportunity. 32 yards. It looked really good. And he just sucked it up and just like kind of wobbled into this 
little ravine, arroyo, whatever the hell it is. I thought he was going to be dead right there. I was already cooking him. In my mind. Well. Havelina tag notched. Not the way I would like it to happen at all. <sighs> um, I need to go see that video. But I can't. Oh well. When I go back up to my bag. Gather my stuff. Let's see if I can find a little shade. Hydrate. Lick my wounds. And then go try to find a mule deer. And not f that up. <laughs> All right. End of day two. Pretty day. Saw the javelinas. Sad day. Lost my javelina. I got a full day tomorrow. And I have to check out by 11 a.m. On Thursday, so that's the fourth day. Till tomorrow. Day three. They sure don't make them like they used to. from when this 300 plus thousand acre ranch was a working ranch and not a state park. That'll hold them in. Sitting here, the last evening of the hunt. I'm glassing up this shaded side of the ravine. Camp is about a mile that way. I've been all around this unit. I saw one set of tracks today as I was walking in here. Got about an hour, I think about an hour left of legal shooting. We'll see what happens. Well, it's a beautiful four by four kind of morning. I got up this morning and threw the glass on the mountain. And uh, look what I found. 
bachelor group of velvet bucks, four of them right there. And uh, one's a pretty good one, a good 4x4 actually, really good 4x4, and the others are good enough. I would be stoked to get a chance at any of these guys. I gotta see if they're gonna bed down soon, otherwise I'm gonna have to make a move quick because my time to check out of the compartment is in just a couple hours, so we're gonna watch them for a few more minutes and hopefully they bed down, otherwise it's gonna be a mad dash and scramble and see what we can pull off. They're way up here, 1.19 miles away according to Onyx. So we'll see what we can do. Let me get a game plan together. They didn't bed down yet, but they're feeding from right to left. Stick with me. Let's see what happens. Got six bucks 80 yards from me. Five in velvet. The biggest is not in velvet. I don't know if they're going to try to bed down right here in that shade. Or if they're going to go over that hill. If they go over that hill, I'm going to haul butt over there. Let's see if I can get them. Three really nice ones. Three small ones. Whatever one I get a shot at. We'll see. Fingers crossed, I got about an hour and a half left until I gotta stop hunting. They're making their move. I think they know that I'm here. Let's see how far they ran. Let me haul ass over there, the way back home anyway. Oh, that was freaking awesome. Obviously, not leaving with one of those six desert mule deers. But just the stock and seeing them getting so close. At one point I was 68 yards from the biggest one, which was the closest one at that moment. I can't shoot that far. I got friends that can do it, but not me. Not right now. I don't think I would have tried to shoot that far anyway to be honest even if I could it's a long a long way anyway it was fun I'm hiking off this mountain those bucks took off over the next ridge I can't chase them for a bunch of reasons obviously I can't run up a mountain like a mule deer but also I need to check out an hour and a half and I got about a good half hour hike back to the truck Throw camp in the truck and then nice long drive down the dirt road to check out at the ranger station it's been so much fun though i love this place if it had been a rifle hunt <laughs> uh, i already had that one though well thanks for watching it's been fun i'll see you guys in arizona next month. Chase Nook.